What's the secret to feeling better when you get a little bit or a lot depressed? And by depressed, I mean sad, mopey, not feeling too motivated, feeling kind of down, useless, things like that. What's the secret? Here's the secret. It'll go away on its own. It will go away without you doing anything. You don't have to do anything and it will go away. And to me, that's just a miracle to discover that. Most of my life, I thought when I felt depressed, when I felt down, when I felt sad, that I had to do something to change how I felt. So I'd try and numb the pain, or I'd try and distract myself from the pain with things like video games. I would try and do something like exercise, or I would try and just lay in bed and hope that it would pass. But usually I didn't do that because I didn't have enough faith that it would ever change. All I could see was how I felt and that fear that I'd never feel any different. That fear of what if it never goes away. The thing is, all you have to do is remember all the other times you felt like this in your life, except this one, it's went away. So it'll go away this time too. And I'm making this here, not when I'm in an upbeat, great mood. I'm making it here. I'm a little depressed today myself. And so I don't get too far down though because I know it'll go away. And I know I don't have to do anything except what I normally do. So I have a series of routines through most of my day that are fairly similar every day. I start off, I eat, I pray, I make one of these videos or podcasts depending on how you use it. I usually then will do some exercise. I'm going to the gym in a few minutes and then I'll have lunch. I'll have a few hours that are up to me. I can do some work or I can do some games or something or I can talk on the phone. Then I have a support group meeting. Then after that, I usually my wife will come home. I'll hang out with her. Then I'll go to bed. So what you can see in there is a safe setup for my day. I don't need to rapidly change what I do. I don't need to try and innovate all these new things. I don't need to take any pills. I don't need to try and numb the pain. I don't need to go see a therapist or anything like that because this is perfectly normal. It's normal to feel down sometimes. And you will feel down less if you just feel it. Just feel it, notice it's there, and know that you don't have to do anything and it will go away. It's like clouds in the sky. Now imagine if you looked up at the sky and felt like you had to move those clouds. Felt like you had to do something to clear it so that it'd be a sunny day. Now that'd be kind of ridiculous, wouldn't it? You'd obviously realize that was ridiculous pretty far into it. So why do we do the same things with our moods? Why do we look at our moods as if there's something we need to move out of the way or change? Why do we look at it that it's wrong to be a little bit depressed sometimes? Why is there this idea that we're all supposed to be happy all the time? That's simply not true. It's natural. Life is often seen in wave movements. You have a little up, a little down. The key is to keep those movements in balance. If you don't want to get way down in the dumps depressed, then you don't want to go up too high either. You don't want to get into a place where you just feel like you're on top of the world and you're winning and everything is just perfect and that place of euphoria. You don't want to go there because you will hit the depths of depression. I know based on my experience. What you want to do is just feel that joy and simple peace in being alive because I feel that even now. Even now, when I'm a little depressed, I still feel that joy and peace in being alive. So I don't go too far down. And I don't go too far up either because I try and have humility. I'm not the greatest person in the world. I'm not the worst either. I'm just another person. And there's a lot of relief in that. So in living a balanced life where you have healthy routines that take care of you regardless of what mood you're in, if I was really happy and on top of the world today, I would do about the same thing that I'm doing today. And there's a lot of safety in that. 
I knew I used to have drastically different days based on how I felt. If I felt good, I did one set of things. If I felt bad, I did another set of things. And the thing is you get stuck feeling bad much longer when you do things like that because you'll get into doing your bad routines and you'll drag out a bad mood way longer than it would have if you just, oh, okay, it's there, it'll pass. I wouldn't be surprised if this passes even now while I'm doing this video, I already feel better. It hasn't lasted that long, it's only lasted a few minutes, maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And I felt very happy when I first woke up this morning. I felt very grateful for my life, very thankful, and then I took a nap and I woke up a little groggy, feeling a little down. And so I don't have to go any deeper than that. Putting a reason on why you're depressed is often very dangerous. Because you'll put these reasons that aren't real. The feeling is just what it is. It's a temporary thing that comes and goes. But when you put reasons on it, oh, I'm depressed because this person did this. Then you start putting these things you can't control onto your feelings. And that makes things a lot harder then because you'll go on through the day, maybe your mood will have lifted and you'll think, oh, remember they still said that to me, I'm still mad about that. And then your mood will come on again, you'll trigger it again. So I'm grateful to be here with you today because I'm here with you whether I'm having a great day or whether I'm down a little bit because that's honest. That's honest, if I just made these when I was feeling great, that'd be a lie. Because you'd only see one side of me then. You'd only see the upside of me and that's not the truth. The truth is, all of us have ups and downs. And the thing is, your downs cannot go so low if you're willing to set your life up in a way where you don't let your moods decide what you do where what you do is kind of rationally planned out and tested in a healthy way of living, and you just go about and do it regardless of whether you're in a good mood or a bad mood, or whether you're in a neutral mood, an apathetic mood. So I'm grateful for this chance to be here with you today. I can already feel the depression lifting a bit, and that's great because that's the secret. You just let it go. You notice it. You say, oh, it's there. <laughs> It's definitely there. And then you just keep checking on it. Is it still there? Is it still there? I don't know. I am not sure if it's there now. I think it's there. Maybe it is. It might not be. Where is it? If I look in my body, where is it? I don't know where it is. I can't tell you where it is. I can't feel it anywhere in my body. My body feels good. My body feels alive. My body feels 100%. My body does not feel depressed. My body feels excellent. And so having these routines that take care of me and focusing on what my body feels like, where is that depression? Trying to actually find it because I think I felt it before. I'm looking for it now though I don't know where it is. I can't feel it anywhere in my body. Therefore, it's just in my mind. And my mind always will have different thoughts. Sometimes it'll have happy thoughts, sometimes it won't. And that's okay. So the secret is just knowing that it's already okay and it will be okay without you doing anything about it. You don't need to do anything about it and it'll be okay. So I find great relief in that. And I find my times of depression clear up 10 plus times faster with this new way of looking at things. I very rarely have more than a few hours where I'm down at once. I think in the last several months, I've had maybe a couple of days where the whole day was down. And it's because of what I've shared with you here and all of the other things I share with you each day. So thank you for being here with me today. I pray that I'm here to serve you today the best I can honestly. And I pray that when I feel down, I have faith that everything is just how it's supposed to be. And that if I'm supposed to feel down now, then that's okay. And I pray that by sharing this with you, if that's how you feel now, that this helps a little bit. So thank you for being here with me. I love to know what you think of this. And I hope you have a wonderful day.